हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल एग्रीकल्चर एंड इंजीनियरिंग ऑनलाइन लेट अस डिस्कस द क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम सॉइल वाटर कंजर्वेशन इरिगेशन एंड ड्रेनेज इंजीनियरिंग अंडर वन मैक्स सेक्शन फ्रॉम गेट 2013 देयर आर एट क्वेश्चंस लेट अस डिस्कस वन बाय वन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज क्वेश्चन नंबर 12 ड्यूरिंग लैंड लेवलिंग ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल लैंड फॉर इरिगेशन एंड ड्रेनेज पर्पस द एक्सेप्टेबल डेविएशन एलिवेशन फ्रॉम द डिजन वैल्यू इन मीटर इज 0.015.025.055.15 meter so this is very straight forward very simple you need to know that uh, the deviation all the different type of uh, leveling or land irrigation or drainage purpose al already it is take a 15 mm or 0.015 meter so therefore the answer will be 0.015 meter any any value next question question number 13 The grid iron pipe drainage system is more economical than the herringbone pipe drainage system because if you see the herringbone system has uh, number of branches and two sides irrigation is there, but in the grid iron only one side and it's little simpler. Therefore, less junctions are there in the grid iron system. Therefore, uh, it, uh, the uh, option C, the number of junction junctions and the double drain area are reduced. Uh, therefore it is more economical than the herringbone system therefore the ans answer for this question will be c that is the number of junctions in the double drain area next is the question number 14 if the drainable porosity of a common area is 5% and the design rate of drop of the water table is 0.25 meter per day the drainage coefficient of the common area in millimeter so drainage coefficient means the how much water can be Drained in millimeter per day from a area. So if you see, there is there are uh, pores are there. So let us pores are there. Pores contains water. Only five percent is the poreable area. And uh, let us initially this this was the water table. Uh, then it is reduced to some uh, uh, extent that is 0.25 meter per day. If there, there means let is this is 0.25. So from this area, uh, the hotter the Uh, water will be coming. That is the percent of uh, pour into the uh, that is the drop down of the uh, water table. Therefore, the answer will be uh, multiplied 5 percent is equal to 0.05 in fraction into uh, 0.25 uh, millimeter. A meter is equal to 250 millimeter. Therefore, the answer will be 0.05 into 250 millimeter per day. That will be equal to 12.5 millimeter per day. Uh, is the drainage coefficient therefore the answer will be equal to uh, b 12.5 mm per day next question question number 15 a soil has a void ratio of 0.75 and a specific gravity of 2.66 the value of critical hydraulic gradient at which quicksand condition so quicksand condition the formula is ic that is the critical hydraulic gradient will be equal to g minus 1 divided by 1 plus c g is the specific gravity And E is the void ratio. In this case, void ratio is given 0.75, uh, and uh, specific gravity is given 2.66 g. Therefore, putting these values, uh, 2.66 is minus 1 divided by 1 plus 0.75. That will be equal to 0.95. Therefore, the answer will be 0.95. Next question, question number 16. The pressure there does not have any measurable influence on the void ratio or shearing resistance of the Soil mass is pore water pressure, intergranular uh, pressure, capillary pressure, surface pressure. So if you see the pore water pressure only pressure, where it actually if it changes or it does not have, then it does not affect the void ratio. So void ratio will be remaining same. Uh, void ratio does not contain uh, means uh, does not actually uh, affected by uh, whether pore water is there or not. But others are uh, they affect the. void ratio and also the shearing resistance is affected by capillary pressure internal pressure and surface pressure therefore the answer will be pore water pressure next question question of 17 the rational method is used to estimate runoff volume peak runoff rate runoff depth direct surface runoff here actually if you know the uh, rational method which is very simple a way to use the peak runoff rate so uh, the uh, the uh, actually the formula is qcia therefore the answer will be peak runoff rate next question is pen evaporation data recorded at a certain location over a period of one week are 4 to 6.21 mm is given 
if irrigation scheduling based on ratio of irrigation water iw to cumulative pan evaporation is practiced the depth of irrigation at an interval of week for iw by cp ratio 0.9 is uh, given so it's very simple one seven days data is given and cumulative uh, pan evaporation you have to find out and uh, since this one is given you have to uh, multiply and you can easily find out it's very simple one so let us say uh, day 1 to 7 the pan evaporation is given 4 uh, 4.3 4.6 4.9 5.12 5.18 and 6.1 so calculate cp cumulative pan evaporation just uh, add every one so then it will be likewise this so there is 34.31 is the uh, total 7 days cumulative uh, uh, pan evaporation therefore the irrigation water divided by cp cumulative pan evaporation is 0.9 ratio is given so here actually cumulative pan evaporation is uh, 30.34.31 so multiplying by 0.9 you can calculate the irrigation water required requirement in uh, in this case it will be 30.879 or 30.88 therefore the answer will be equal to 30.88 d next question question number 19 a 16 millimeter high wind break is constructed to protect soil from wind erosion due to wind velocity 18 meter per second at 15 meter height the minimum wind velocity at 15 meter height capable of moving the soil is uh, 8, 8 meter per second the angle of deviation of prevailing wind direction from the perpendicular to the wind break is 30 degree the distance of full protection of the wind break in meter is this so coming to the wind break if you see like this the distance of full protection will be equal to 17h vm by v cos theta in this case so vm is uh, uh, first of all height uh, uh, is given that is 16 meter uh, vm is given 8 meter per second and uh, the velocity 18 meter per second at 15 meter so and theta is given 30 degree so therefore putting the value together d will be equal to 17 into 16 8 by 18 into cos 30 so therefore putting this values together so we can get the answer is 104.69 meter is the distance of full protection for the wind break therefore the answer will be equal to uh, 104.69 that is b so this is the answer so hope you understand uh, please like and subscribe to my channel.